Hi, I'm Brian. Let's see. OK, you can hear me? Great. I'm Brian. I'm with Scholastica. And we're here because academic publishing is broken. If you hear in the news about university budgets being cut, even while that's happening, the knowledge they have to buy to help their scholars is being increased in price every year. Publishers right now are this sort of vestigial middleman in an archaic system. They're like the tonsils, making universities sick. And we want to get rid of these publishers and help scholars manage their content themselves. So first, let me show you a little bit about how publishing works. Scholars live in universities. They spend years writing articles and doing research. And that's a lot of value. They then give it to journals who serve as these expert critics. They decide what's crap and don't publish it, and what's good, and they put it out to the world. That's a lot of work, too, because they have to find experts. They have to find the right people to tell them what's good, manage copy editing, decide uh, wh uh, where it should go. And that's another big service, too. They then work with publishers. Publishers' job is to make sure everyone knows about it. Their job is distribution. Make sure that scholars at other universities can read the knowledge that that, that was made. The problem comes in that these publishers realize that they have an inelastic market. If I have a journal and I'm a publisher, I have the copyright. So I'm the only one who can sell this. And so I charge universities more and more every year to the point where they can't afford it. Uh, universities like Harvard and the California University System are cutting subscriptions. Their libraries now spend 60% of their budgets buying journals, not buying books, not buying technology, not paying staff. They do it buying journals. Because again, the publishers know that they have this, this chokehold on scholars. Scholars want to read what other people have written. And so they charge more and more. Over the last 25 years, the price of an average journal has jumped 400%. An average journal cost $1,000 per university, per journal. And there are lots of, there are lots of journals that cost $25,000. And what happens when they get more expensive? Universities stop buying the ones that they don't, that they don't, there's not as much demand for. So as an author, I wrote something and put it in a journal. I put in all that time. The journal put in time. They handed it to a publisher, and now no one's reading it because it's too expensive. This is a huge problem. No, no, everyone's angry about it. The question is, why does this exist? Why don't journals walk away? On one level, they don't have options, and this is rooted in history. These are called books. Um, <laughs> I just learned about these. So they, the thing that's amazing about, about the publishers is that their entire livelihood is based in a system that just doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. Their job, the, the value they offered journals 20 years ago was we will physically print these. We will handle all that work, working with printers, working with paper companies, and shipping it. We'll do all that and take it out. We'll also make sure people know about it. We'll sort of do a physical Google for scholars so they know about new knowledge. Well, when I want to get new knowledge, I don't go and to the library in the stacks here. I use this. And that's what all scholars use. They find knowledge online. So what publishers offer, this distribution model, again, it's just it's a middleman we don't need. But again, why don't journals leave? Because they don't have an option. There's a lot of work involved in running a journal. Again, just finding experts takes time. And getting it out to other universities, that's difficult. And they don't have any options. So they've stuck with this middleman who has produced a $19 billion industry. That's how much universities spend on this stuff. $19 billion without adding any value. But we wanted to give scholars an option, so we built Scholastica. Scholastica is an academic journal publishing platform. It lets journals manage from submission to the review process to publishing and distributing their content out to universities all without a middleman. They can do it all through our app. We came out of open, uh, open beta about two months ago. and We've had some really great journals come on board, some who are even top in their field. And that's because there's been this pressure building for years. And now we're the first company to come out and actually provide a solution that lets them do the work they need to do without having to hand over the copyright to somebody else. We're the only cloud-based solution that makes the hard things about running a journal easy. We automate something that needs to be automated. Journals can come and get a hosted solution on our site. They can also find reviewers. Reviewers can gain reputation and become more involved in the publishing process in Scholastica. We said this is the model. And the problem is journals have no way to get their content up. Through our system, they can do that. Uh, the three founders are here today, me, Rob, and Corey. If you're excited about 
changing an industry. And if you'd like to help invest in making this a better world for knowledge, please come talk to us. Thank you.